Welcome back to World War One, you maggots. You see that? That's some poor little town that's being absolutely oh destroyed because well let's be honest that's what happened in world war one are you shooting at me no you're shooting under me but world war one kind of played in okay okay played in a very specific manner not played in like the video game kind of way but like played out like oh my god this is where we started a lot of people died to gain a few inches of battlefield land like look at this and part of the reason for that was because of the trenches that are absolutely getting shelled right now. Basically, there was these huge stalemates of World War I trenches just everywhere. And then, and then, something happened. Oh! Well, not me dying. Oh my god, I'm a girl. <laughs> I always wondered. But you'd have these giant stalemates, right? And then the thing that happened was the invention of the tank. Now, what we're going to be seeing today is how tanks have a huge impact and completely change the game in trench warfare. But just like in the beginning of World War One, they didn't have tanks, we don't have tanks yet. It is only day three. Kind of like, we'll consider that year three of the war. Oh, he's got a shovel! Because on day four and day six, that is where we start to get the vehicles. So, it's nighttime on day three, and we have a light machine gun here. But if you haven't seen our first video here on trenches, well, you gotta check it out. Watch it after this, because I go from like day one and show like how you develop and build these trenches, how you get these giant artillery guns, and sort of like the evolution of the battlefield. But fighting over no man's land is incredibly brutal. And look at this, man. Being able to call in like this Death Star style artillery. What are you doing? What are you? I don't think you know what you're doing. Charlie's in the trenches! They're over there! Do you see him? I don't really see him. There's a friend. Oh, I guess we could try to, like, flank and spank, but that's the enemy trenches, and that's gonna be incredibly difficult to combat. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. That guy's got a super laser. Oh, he's gonna get a grenade! There we go. We dropped him. This is kind of like EA's Battlefield 1, where we got, like, male and female soldiers, but to my knowledge, not too many women fought in the trenches of World War One, And they're probably all the better for it, honestly, because, uh, war, war is heck, and those trenches were trench foot, right? You, 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 flank here. Hey! I'm doing it! Guys! Look at me! I'm the best there ever was! Oh god, I'm gonna get shot. I'm the best there ever was, and I'm gonna die probably eventually someday, but hopefully not today. You ever wonder why soldiers sing songs? Well... Because war sucks, man. <laughs> that was perfect timing. And when you die, you spawn back at your base. And this one is less about, like, the trenches and more about, like, what if the trenches were on opposite sides of, like, this destroyed city? I like how the engineers are back here building, like, these fortified pillboxes, which are going to be great for machine gun nests. There's another little guy hiding in this trench. <laughs> <laughs> Hide until they get artillery to the face. I mean, that just happened to us, but it's really funny when it happens to somebody else. Just stop me. Oh! Cover and fire! Take the trenches! Oh, we took it. Bura! Now, do you say bara or huzzah? And when did huzzah come out of favor and people started saying bara? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Things are exploding all around me. Oh, Charlie's in the hills. Why are all the enemies named Charlie? Come on. Come on, Charlie. Stick your dirty head out and catch this bullet in your teeth. Where are you going, Charlie? <laughs> Where are you going, Charlie? Or Charlita, I guess. You know, you got long hair. Hey, man. What you doing over there? Charlita 2? There you go. Look at this, man. You just give me a bolt-action rifle and put me within one square mile of the enemy general and pack your bags, boys. The war is over. <laughs> Now, it is day four, so the land ship is deployable. Some classes require a specific amount of levels. Don't tell me I don't have the levels required. The cost is $2,000, and you don't have that kind of money. Well, that is unfortunate, but fear not. I believe that our soldiers will bring forth the vehicle of destruction. Is there a dude hiding in that bushes? Moving on the flank, boys. Charlie's in the trenches. Charlie's in the city. Charlie is dead. In somewhere, a Charlie somewhere is making... A double bacon cheeseburger for my enjoyment. Ow. Hello. You're dead. You're dead too. All right, boys. We just got to hold this flank. Oh, we got grenades. All right. I'm realizing that we are poor. Who would have thunk it that, you know, the wealthy get to enjoy 
warfare, as well as avoiding taxes, and gold flaked omelets. You know, those kinds of things. It's the simple things in life, but it's the other things that the poor people don't get to enjoy. Where's my tank? Dang it. Headshot, Charlie. Come here, Charlita. Ow. There you go. Scratch one bogey. Oh, I got a light machine gunner. You spent 120 gold on that, feller. And here is what we were waiting for. Oh, the beginning of the end of, of the resistance. Now, they can get anti-tank guns. But you have to remember that when tanks were first invented, like, the enemy was like, what the heck is that, man? And they didn't have, like, anti-tank artillery nearly as available. So what we're gonna do is watch this tank just dominate the battlefield. And we're gonna do the old classic strategy of follow your blocker. If you're a fan of American football. Oh, God! Maybe staying too close is a bad idea because artillery is going to be incoming, right? There's the artillery guns back there. These things are incredibly expensive to use. So if you use it like you've been playing a lot and you've been on the grind to get this. It looks like a British Mark V tank, doesn't it? Mark V, Mark IV. There's a pillbox over there. But getting over the trenches is a little bit tricky, isn't it? Come on, big girl. You can do it. Or maybe like back up and go around it. Can we go around it? Nope. Gotta go over it. <laughs> We're losing our infantry, man. I wanna get to a safer spot so I can just like watch the calamity that is this tank driver. You don't have, you're not having a good time, are you? You are getting shelled by artillery. Oh, oh, we're about to break through. Yes. I feel like the tanks in this game, like they need to be able to automatically destroy the barbed wire that's in their path. Oh, he's getting ready to fire. And I also think what would make it even better is like, see those gun ports on the left? Well, there's gun ports on the right too. And you can either have like cannons or maybe even like machine guns. Speak of the devil, he's got machine guns. Okay, good. But I want to be able to jump in sort of like, I got wrenched. Yeah, see, like, to get a land ship, needed levels 10. Well, what's my level? I'm at level 2? Oh, my goodness. Let's get back and defend that tank. It's our best chance at breaking the enemy trenches. And, like, look at the momentum bar in the upper middle. Right next to... <laughs> The casualties. We've suffered. A lot of good men have died out there. I like how this poor, brilliant Brazilian engineer is just like, yeah! it's like a dead T pose, but it's like a upside down Y pose. You know what I mean? D posed. <laughs> oh God. Where's that tank? There it is. It's behind enemy lines right now. It absolutely broke through. It does such a good job at distracting the enemy, allowing infantry to break through too. Oh, we got wrenched. And now we can just like break through on the right flank here. Look at this. Uh, Let's try to get through this house and get in the enemy trenches. Oh God, the tank died. The tank died and it died at the worst opportune moment here. All right, I'll defend that wrench soldier. There's trench foot. Is there wrench foot? Like if you get wrenched in the foot. Okay. Machine gunner sees me. Morse code, what's that? What, what's the charge? Oh, I, I mean, I already did it, boss. I already did it. But I love how the general can, like, give orders. Uh-oh. So I'm kind of, like, stuck here till reinforcements arrive because I did that thing where I followed the tank in. They don't see me, though. <laughs> Mom! But, like, it was a deadlock at three flags to three, and now it's four to two. The whistles are being blown, so you know the gentlemen officers in our army are saying, Oh, right, poor people, charge the enemy trenches. <laughs> you know, if they... Hey, where are you guys going? They got light machine guns. I feel I'm outgunned, so I'm gonna have to use my intelligence, which isn't always there. Oh, we up! Tailspin. Man, that's, that takes you back, or it doesn't. Oh, the enemy's got a tank! That, that's illegal. That's against the Geneva Convention. Ha ha. You just brought a wrench to a gunfight there, Daniel. You done messed up. Enemy tank is moving in on our right flank. Oh, he's shooting at me. Hello. All right, so now I think I need like an anti-tank rifle or something to just start shellacking that thing. Yeah, see, that's the problem about tanks revolutionizing warfare, you know, and when they were introduced in World War One, is you can use them on the enemy, but the enemy can use them on you too. And that's sort of the pickle we are now in. All right, we're dry. Oh my God, they're making a giant push this way. I got a tank over there. I've got like 50 infantry over here. See, it, there's some infantry pushing with him and I'm wondering if I can't pop them. Oh, it's daylight. It is day five. Oh my God, that sun is so bright. The tank clearly knew I was there. Camp out here. We can't go camping. This is a war zone. You. Who is our general? Yeah, I would like to go camping. Somebody bring the schnitzels. We'll fry them up over the open fire. And here's the issue. 
<laughs> well, other than bullets in my spine. The infantry is now the enemy has momentum and is capturing that zone back because of the tank. So let's go to specialists and let's see anti-tank gun costs 100. So I have this like crazy looking rifle. It looks like it's from like um Fallout, uh, Fallout 4. You know, like that laser musket. <laughs> Man, Fallout was such a good game. I love Fallout. Yeah, I've got the laser musket. I mean, that, that would be a pretty effective weapon in World War One. Oh! <laughs> the pro <laughs> I got him. The problem with using an anti-tank rifle is like you're not very good at fighting against infantry. Now, this is the point where I'd like to be able to fly a scout plane and like see what is the position of the enemy. I think the biggest issue here, oh yes, good. We have another tank. It's like, well, the issue was we didn't have a tank. The solution is to get another tank. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the solution now. Everyone just go engineers. Everyone just go engineers, stay put. Wow, like you just, look at that. The strategy is, hey, all of you cheap riflemen charge the enemy position. You're gonna die, but at least our engineers can do their job. Oh, I got a headshot over there. Which is great, because that was definitely LMG. All right, General, can someone tell, like, whoever is driving these dang tanks to not be such an idiot? We're trying to revolutionize warfare, not show social Darwinism, okay? Well, you see here, the problem is that I should never be in command of some valuable military resources. Oh, look at that. That was... Did you build those to get the tank up? Uh-oh, fire the laser! Guys, I'm literally on your team. Hey, General, can you put this guy in timeout and give me the tank, please? I want it. Oh my god, I'm inside of it. This isn't my idea of what being inside of a tank would... Like, what I wanted, but... Here we are. Someone needs to make a better version of this game. And I, I, I think it's me, guys. If you're Roblox dev, hit me up, man. Let's, let's make some cool stuff. Press F. I did. Nothing happened. <laughs> Press F to pay your respects. All right, we're doing it. Everybody, follow the tank in. If we follow the tank, we're gonna win. Oh my God, we got a second one. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. And I'll just like hang out here lurking. Fire the cannon. Yes, ow, bullets, bullets bad. Retreat, what do you mean retreat? We're not retreating. Oh God, that thing looked like it got hit with a ion cannon from Star Wars. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? But what is shooting them? Any tank guns? Oh, another tank. Ha ha. I got the guy in the window. Oh god, they took out my sandbags. Whoa! I thought we were inside of like a yellow tornado, but it was just someone's hair. Once again. Oh yes. Tanks move in. We need both on the flank. Tanks on the flank to give the enemy the spank. Man, ion. Who brought ion cannons to World War One? Oh no, the engine's on fire. Do I have a wrench? No. Wait, what's this? A wrench. I'm I'm repairing you, all right? I'm slapping your butt with this wrench. <laughs> Either you're gonna like it or you're gonna get healed. You know, one of the two. Hopefully both. It seems that the revolution of the tank is benefiting the enemy more than us. Charge! Oh yeah, they've got two tanks over there. Somehow I survived that charge. I'm very happy about it too. Oh man, that guy trying to wrench us, man. They're always trying to wrench you, you know? Who built this town in the middle of a war zone? Or who built the war zone in the middle of the town? Is Oh god, oh god, oh god. Guys, we are being overrun. And I'm getting headshots. But eventually, all sword, uh, he who liveth by the sword will die by it. But we're slowly not getting poor. Just, it literally cost me lives. One day I will be able to drive a tank into glorious World War One trench warfare. Wait, wait a minute, do they have tanks on the right and the left? I might need to anti-tank it a bit. And if Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, I was, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Insanity is getting shoveled in the face, I think. But I, I was just keep, Attacking the right side. Yeah, don't they have a tank right there? Yeah, they do. No infantry are supporting it though. So you can like sneak around. Oh god. I mean not many. Oh we yo. Yeah. The old uh don't look down the iron sights on your bolt action rifle technique. Oh look, I took their machine gun. So this is mine now. I claimed it. I peed on it, so you know it's mine. Did I just get shot? <laughs> Famous last words. Did I just get shot? So day six is what we need to get to to see what vehicles are then available to us. And I'm thinking there's carbines now. Light machine guns, carbines are only 50? That, I've never played with that. But I need an anti-tank gun because the enemy is using revolutionary World War I technology against me. But if I take out the tanks, then that means our tanks can take out their infantry. The rock, paper, scissors of warfare. All right, where's their, where's their tanks at, boys? Do we see them? Oh God, landmines. 
Fire! I am literally mobile artillery. Oh god, where'd that guy come from? Oh god, no! I need a squad of people to protect me. It's almost like if we coordinated our efforts, we would have better results on the battlefield. Oh my god. Oh no. All right, let's give this carbine a try. So another weapon will come out tomorrow as well. Oh, is this just a semi-automatic rifle? I mean, it makes sense, right? It's like, yes, yeah, so our technological developments go first, bolt action rifles, then fully automatic guns, and then semi-automatic guns. <laughs> Seems a little weird to me. I think that was about 10 rounds. This thing should be pretty sweet, man. And it's only $50, much better than $250 on an LMG. Oh, that's artillery. Look at this grenadier, fire your grenade. Yeah. All right, we're getting in CQB in on him. Ha ha! You have a fully automatic weapon, but I have semi-automatic weapon and better skills. Oh god, there's a lot of bunkers over there. Ooh, yeah, gonna be difficult to break through there. All right, I got that guy. Uh, but I, 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 I need a medic. I guess I don't have any grenades. Is my health at 10%? We need medical tanks. <laughs> oh, that. Anti-tank gunner just got dropped. Uh-oh. All right, it's nighttime, almost to day six. Cover the tank. It's funny how the tank needs to be covered by men, and the tank covers men. It's like, but finally, man, I'm glad I'm on the team that's, like, doing better. Ah! Why do I always have to say something awesome? Like, about how things are going well, and then, and that's when we die. Oh, man, the engineers have been hard at work setting up an artillery position on this flank. New cannon in right, yeah. Yeah, that... That's that's what I was just saying. I really like what you did with the place. Fire! One eternity later. F f fire the gun. Ethan here is setting up some defenses. These engineers are doing great. That's what I... The engineering options in this game are absolutely incredible. This guy's setting up mines. That guy's rushing a tank with a shovel. <laughs> Oh, man. Not the brightest move. Oh, we have a tank that moved up the middle but got stuck and destroyed. Got friendly bombardment on this area. Heavy bombardment, actually. That's a lot of artillery going off. All right, sniper's nest. I'm surprised no one's shooting at me. Oh, someone tried to anti-tank rifle me. Is the tank still moving in? Yeah, still alive, barely. Oh God, he jumped out. The tank driver jumped out and got killed by a grenade. That is rough stuff. Hey, bud. Ah, I got a trench club. Eat trench clubs. <laughs> that was fun. We've taken this trench, this flag rather. Oh, wow. And I'm here to guard it. Oh, God. I dropped that person. Oh, <laughs> oh man, look at my head. I, I think I needed to go to the chiropractor or something. Jeez, people really love their landmines. I'm glad I can't hit the landmines of my, that the ones my teammates have put down. Otherwise, this would be bad. Oh, God. Why is everybody rushing to slap you with a wrench? Good news, it's day six. So now they have submachine guns. We have medium tanks, behemoths, and gun carriers, troop carriers. So here's the thing. Can I get a medium tank? I mean, I've been playing this game for hours and I'm still a level three. Well, let's give the old submachine gun a try. It is the new technological weapon here. Oh man, the tanks are trying to reproduce. No, a mother behemoth has laid an egg, and that egg has tank tracks. Oh, it looks like the Renault FT-17 chassis, but a little bit bigger and a, a stranger turret, but these are both French-inspired tanks at the very least. So this is the behemoth, and this is the medium tank. Guys, we really, you know what, hold on. I, I need to destroy this trend, because we just keep getting stuck on it, right? There we go, see, look. By using your mining pickaxe, like this is where our tanks spawn, and we need to have a straight track to the front. There you go, tanks. Stop driving in the giant holes, will ya? Well, you see, I have no idea what I'm doing. Bura! Let's do this. The mother tank is behind us. Whoa, what did you just hit? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Mother tank, defend us. Man, who would have thought war would have just get this ridiculous? This is Roblox, don't you love it? Roblox World War One. it's called like Trenches Beta. This was recommended by you guys. It's my favorite Roblox game I've played. Reload this submachine gun, yavol. Watch out for all the freaking barbed wire. <laughs> you see that guy standing there before they got absolutely shellacked by artillery? So the fire rate on this should be better than the light machine gun, but does it do as much damage per bullet? I don't think so, but it's more expensive. Well, uh, I found a guy with a freaking hand laser, AKA any tank gun. I'm doing it again. If I can't get tanks 
because I'm not a level 10 and I've been playing the game for probably like five hours. Well then by golly gee, here's the oak grenades. Can I, can I have one? Can I have it? Nope, guess not. Yeah, but I think that's the biggest issue my team is having right now. Is like, we don't have a, a nice track to the front. <laughs> get wrecked. Woo boy. I love the submachine gun. Just spray and pray, baby. It's a strategy. Not a very good one, but it is a strategy. Okay, son, what'd you do today? Mom, I employed strategies. Oh, you're so smart. Yeah, my strategy was a very poorly optimized one, but I, I did it. Oh, you're the smartest kid ever, Bobby. At least you're not running around with a giant pipe slapping people in the head with it. Oh, thanks, Mom. Who here needs to spec the Deutsch? You need to. Now you're dead. I'm running behind enemy lines. I, this is like the moments I live for. Oh, that's machine gun. All right, we are uh, too far behind enemy lines. <laughs> so far you get smacked in the head with a club. So what are the specialists that, no, no specialists become available. It's all the, about the submachine gun and the new vehicles. Use the shovel to build. Dude, what gets me points to level up? You want me to build a Death Star out of nothing but sandbags, dirt, and wood? I can do that. If it means I'll get to drive a tank in the next video. Everyone's running around with submachine guns now, it seems. It's so hot right now. Someone's hiding in this house. Oh, thank God for friendly artillery, man. Oh my goodness, what happened? This man got exploded. There's pieces of him everywhere. Oh man, they're just bum rushing. Oh! <laughs> oh look, this is the gun carrier. Fire the gun that you are carrying. I love this thing. Jeez. It's easily the best game in Roblox. And there's still a lot of things that could be obviously improved, but like, it's pretty dang good. All right, we dropped one guy right there. Oh. Snipers in the windows. Jeez, man. All right, we, we got them with shovels. All the infantry is pushing on this side. Oh, bodies! Let the bodies hit the floor. I just killed two light machine gunners. In terms of economics... Oh, God! <laughs> that was a grenade. Somehow I'm not dead. Reload. Help me. I need help. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's try this. The old run at them, start pre-firing before you enter the door. I love it. A viable tactic. I'm gonna... I want the Medal of Honor. <laughs> well, I didn't get it, nor did I get the enemy flag point. So, tanks. Revolutionary. Unfortunately, they are gated behind this stupid... You need to be level 10. Buddy, I've been playing this game for a long time. The, some of these vehicles need to be not level 10. But they are. It's almost like the economic, the man's keeping me down by saying I'm too poor to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Roblox. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and do want to see more. And I will see you in the next one.